Mic check, mic check. What's up, everybody? This is Game Logic on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube, back with another episode of An Accounting of Third Measures. I believe this is episode number 609. Yeah, An Accounting of Third Measures is my mini series of live games and let's live streams. <laughs> live games. Live streams. It's been a long night. Live streams and let's plays focus on games in the third person action adventure genre, and that's the closest thing I can figure out on where to put Death Stranding. Tonight, we're going to be getting things a little bit shorty, playing some Death Stranding, Director's Cut on the PlayStation 5. So without much further ado, let's get to it. So it's going to be a short live stream tonight, probably about 30 minutes or so. So I don't seem, I guess on this screen, so I just, I had just gotten here last night. So we're trying to figure out how to navigate around this UI. So there are no active orders. And I'm trying to figure out how to... Go about selecting missions on the map. So maybe that's not ready for me to interact with yet. Let's try this again. So I can see different destinations on here, but... So it's a bunch of stuff, none of which I need. Not getting that. So I've already interacted with all that stuff over there. Ugh. Eastern region prepare to make a delivery.
So I don't know. Uh, we'll just go around and mess with all this stuff. Probably gonna wind up spending a half hour monkeying with stuff in the room and not actually getting to. Whatever the next step of gameplay is. So I'm trying to see. don't see anything to interact with there. So we've changed the color scheme. Great. That's all the equipment that you have to interact with. Can't believe I'm actually stuck on this part, of all things. Too fixated on one part. This makes no sense to me. Okay, man, you can only get orders from the terminals with the hollow people, as far as I know. I'm not sure what that map inside the room is actually used for, to be honest. Gotcha. What's up, K-Man? How you doing, man? <laughs> Thanks for the tip. You can only get orders from the terminals with the hollow people. So what's flipping me out is... I mean, what... What trigger is it waiting on? So we've messed with him before. That hasn't triggered anything. This animation of him going and sitting back on the bed is really aggravating me. There's nothing to interact with there. You just go up and view it. Sam, Hartman here. Oh my gosh. The researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dooms and repatriates. The shower in your room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelian contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. I should add that these showers have another function, the collection of blood, hair, fluids, and other natural waste products. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Corellium and your overall health. 
And I freely admit a chance to study the unique properties of your physiology, you being a repatriate and all. David says, uh, good dude, hope you're well, my dude. Gotta go pick up a kid from some games she's at, but I just, I just started playing Death Stranding Dark Souls as well, and it's good, but weird, but good. Sometimes you just have to leave the room by pointing at the door to get out of there. Yeah, so, I don't know if you saw over here, but in the shower area, those icons had an exclamation point on them, so I guess that's the trigger on the UI. Now, the leave private room, so that icon wasn't there before. So I guess I had to hit the trigger event, which is indicated by the exclamation mark, and then that opens up other things, which is just well, a little have you had a chance aggravating in how specific it is, but it is what it is. Chalk full of Chirelia, but safe for you dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. 
So a lot of that scene of Sam gearing up in the room uh, kind of had similar feelings to uh, Star Citizen, the initial, the first time that you go out to your ship and kind of get in it and light it off. Kind of the theatrically and cinematically had kind of the same feel. It's interesting. A lot of the jargon here is... Uh, hyper-specific enough that it feels a lot like a Final Fantasy game with having to learn all the different terms for everything that have no, like, contextual relationship to, like, our normal <laughs> language norms. This was not quite as bad, but kind of in that same vein. Take on a new owner at Capital Not City. So did the uh, enough to keep going weekly games podcast tonight? So it's making it for quite a long evening. Capital Not City. Yep, oh, there is Capital Not City. So I will just connect the line straight through. Lay down a custom marker. I should have a. Yeah, I kind of wish there was some uh, auto routing of the route lines. Like they would. Uh, maybe going the completely wrong. Maybe there is a way out underneath the, this structure. I kind of wish it would auto navigate around obstructions. One of the things that's key is uh, I originally started off concerned that there was some kind of stamina impact when you're just transiting and not really on mission. Oh. Oh, jeez. I thought I actually had to go to a different geographic location. It's just a terminal right here. Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Chiral network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need, and connect the cube in. Alright, so they're starting us off with yet another smart drug delivery. I don't see where it tells me how far that is. Well, maybe it does. 1,200 meters. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. So I'm not sure that that actually... Cargo condition less than 50% damage. 
I don't want to cancel the order. I want to find out some more information about it, but I don't see... Oh, so, here we go. Order somewhere. Okay. We station west of Capital Not City is the first knot in a chain that will eventually spread America. You need to deliver oxytocin boosting smart drugs to ease the stress of Bridges staff working there. Once you've done that, use your Cupid to connect the way station to the Cairo network. Okay. My question is, have I accepted? Okay, that's the confirmation. So I think that's all I have to do. All right. Opens the route. Okay. I don't want to cancel the order. I already confirmed it, I thought. Why is that telling me to cancel the order? Selected. Confirm. That's the order summary. Oh. Accept orders. Okay. Carry on back. Load all. Just a ladder. We've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Okay, so this is what I have carried on my back right now. You also have a cargo shelf, boot clip. I think I'm at a total of 27.3 kilograms right now out of 120. So that should be good. And we'll confirm that and head out. Okay. So I should be able to get up here and manually. Sam. Great Scott, dude. Taking up four equipment slots. Climbing anchor. And relieving yourself. Can you get a game save at this point? Uh, yes, you can. It should be good to do that. Okay, so there's my destination. Huh, interesting. So they don't give you suggested routes now. Unless it's just this R1, R2, R3 to show that these are things you can go through. Alright, 
Well, I'm going to head to R3. And then I'm going to go Take that route. Let's see if that works. Where's my route indicator? Okay, there it goes. Now, is this a shield wall that I can't go over, or is it just telling you that you can't surmount that? What I need to do is figure out how to reconnect to the route I plotted. So it should be off to my right. Oh, there we go. Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojedek is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. So it, it's like these guys are my autocon. Remember, Sam. Lost cargo, displaced media. I'll put it on my back. It's interesting that it didn't present the same dialogue as you originally had with all the different places that you could put the cargo. Oh, there's more cargo right there. Hand cargo your hands allows you to protect it with your body. Hand cargo will not take damage even if you fall. So one of the things that is kind of, uh, I feel, it might take away from this game so far is that, um, obviously there's been much ado about whether or not this is a walking simulator. To be quite honest, it feels very much to me the same way that when submerged in water, okay. Very much to be the same way that a any of the other simulations that I play would. 
So the controls and the things I have to pay attention to are not... Oh, what the heck is that? Offloading cargo. You can hear me seeing bouncing. Use the post boxes to deliver lost cargo. Huh. Okay, well that's good. It means I don't have to hoof this stuff all the way to the next location. So cargo and cargo dropped by others. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. So you can either trust it or not. So I guess you can get more points if you hoof it all the way, but like partial credit if you drop it here. And you can select multiple. And there's the option to not do anything. I'm just going to submit all three of them here. Wasn't hired to hoof. Lost disc media. Trusted to another player. Oh, I thought I was leaving it there for you, boy Nick. But that's fine for my first time through around. I'll make a different choice next time. Material contributor. I mean, it says that's Nick Easton's post drop, it seems like. And it seems like he was the person who lost the stuff, so. I don't know. Get some crypto biotes. Yeah, it feels like the things that are being evoked for me are right in line with what I would normally think about and feel when I'm playing a, a flight sim or a driving sim or a tank sim or a mech sim in some ways. So the fact that the avatar is Sam doesn't necessarily make it feel that much different than I would feel if I were trying to maneuver and navigate a vehicle across some type of terrain or to an objective. Ooh, I'm losing some endurance here. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to get up here and take a break. Since there's obviously no way right over that mountain, I'm going to go up here and hook a left. Hook a Louie! Let's take a knee, Sam. Yeah. 
Yeah, the controller takes the slightest bit of input, so... I don't know that I need to go all the way up there. Let's, uh... Oof. I may have hoofed it up here too far. Hmm. I thought that there was a route... Maybe I could go up and go up and over. We'll give that a try. Oof. Looks like I need to get my hands free. Just choosing to go this route is about potentially maybe not running into BTs, but also about uh, maybe trying to take the shortest route, even though it might be more difficult. I want to pass it through. Well, the question is, is where? my route go from here so it looks like I need to angle slightly northwest hmm. yeah there doesn't seem to be any penalty really from kinda of running it now what the heck is that Disconnected from the chiral network. Alright. I'm going to continue heading along my route. I'm not going to sweat what that may or may not mean. I guess I'll learn my lesson one way or another. What is that? I thought that there was, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, it doesn't seem to have the color customization on it anymore. I don't know why. I thought that there was a way... I guess that's the extent to which you can zoom in. Hmm. Let me check the controls and just make sure I haven't forgotten something that I tried to show you earlier. seem like there's any way to zoom in. I think I checked graphic settings. I know I sent this set it in quality mode. Widescreen mode on or off? What does that mean? I should also check to see if I can do a save at this point. Yeah, uh, because you got the letterboxing. Okay, so my route would be straight ahead and then take me to the left. Ooh, Nelly. Is that a straight drop? I still seem to not have picked up my route. I'm actually going backwards from where I need to go. I think the waypoint node that I had entered is that thing down there. 
So we'll go ahead and try and make my way down. I haven't actually seen any controls that tell you how to get down. I would think it would be better for Sam to kind of climb it. Or to lower himself by his hands, but it seems like this just gives you the option to kind of hop down. Just trying not to be super aggressive about it, because I don't know if this is damaging the cargo or not. Since this was supposed to be a pretty short live stream, just to do a quick 30 minutes of death training, I'm probably... Ooh, what is that? I do not know what that red indicator means. Have I hurt myself, or is the BB stressing out, or what? Don't know if that red means that I've taken some damage or that the cargo's taken some damage or what. What is that? Ambient noises are very unnerving. It always makes it sound like there's somebody else here. Of course, there's nobody else here. I will say a very weird thing is that... Or not weird thing, but thing of note is that... I've complained uh, recently about a lot of the games that I've been playing that have just like endlessly scripted dialogue, where it's like the character's... Like, never shut up. <clears throat> Let's see if this is going to make that. Couldn't drink another drop. Still has him going in the wrong direction, technically. What I don't know is if... In, a norm in any other game, I would suspect I would want to rummage through this encampment because maybe there would be loot or some type of resources that you need, but I just don't know if this game is wired like that. It doesn't appear that there's any... Go ahead and take a look in here. Okay, that's not me whistling. Is this like a base camp? Does it just say that... Something was restored? Cat monkey with the generator. There's some icon up here. What is this? Oh! Mule post box. Uh. 
Oh, so you're carrying your boots on a clip. I guess you could drop some things off here if you needed to. I was more so wondering if there was any additional cargo for me to pick up here. So it seems like you could use this to... as a place to hold some of your cargo. I didn't think it was me whistling, but... I also didn't see anyone else in there. So I need to hang a right. I kind of wish... Ah, there's your waypoint. Okay, and your route. Get on it, Sam. Oh! <laughs> Man, all I need to go is go right over there to that tower. <laughs> I could have beelined it for there from the top of that ridge. Like I said, what's making me nervous is I just don't I just don't know what that red is up on the screen. be interesting is if I have damaged all of the cargo. Because that will have made this whole trip pointless. Is there any way you can tell what the st check and adjust the cargo? It doesn't look like it tells you. Yeah, none of this stuff is damaged. That's your ladder, so... So the only thing that really matters is the smart drugs. And none of them have any damage. Oh, maybe... Maybe it's because my light... My, uh... Health is maxed out? Maybe that's what that means. Oh, uh, that was me whistling. Enjoyed Sam's whistling. Alright, maybe that's just my indicator of max health. Yeah, but I've been complaining of late of the uh, all the games I've been playing where the characters are just constantly talking, and in that aspect, Death Stranding is uh, maybe a game that's a little more suited to, and says a lot about my introverted personality that I don't mind at all wandering the countryside in loneliness as Sam Porter. <laughs> find it preferable to hmm. some of the endless talking sequences even when you're like in control in game in like The Last of Us 2 and 
and other games like that. Psychonauts 2. Although it's it's quirky and interesting dialogue, I'm just like, sometimes just like, come on, man. I can save. I can has cheeseburger. Now what I... Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you. What I just don't know is if I'm walking into a BT encounter. <sighs> Would be nice if this is a basic drop. It's getting late tonight. Make delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Smart drug delivery. Oh. Delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization, or the UCA, or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. This is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Alright, so I traveled 2,100 meters for what was probably like a 1,300 <laughs> meter trip. Difference between the new delivery route and the shortest delivery route is almost over one and a half times as long. <laughs> now my porter grade keeps going up, but I haven't seen evidence or been explained, like, what that means. Like, is that the same thing as, like, a level? Am I, like, a level 13 porter now, or what? I don't know. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy. Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So what are you waiting for? We, you, you put us on the goddamn grid? difficult for me to fathom and understand and gain the perspective that you guys were separated by all of 2,000 meters and you in three years you couldn't figure out a way to cross that space Faye two nodes connected new strand Alright, so some additional things have been added.
Connection to capital, not city, confirmed. It's really happening. What? <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. Guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Fort Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Alright, so let's see if we can get a save here again. All right, very cool. Well, look, folks, here's where we're going to wrap up for tonight. Uh, for anybody who happened to swing through and check in on the live stream, I appreciate you. Thanks so much, K-Med, for stopping by, as always. Now, for anybody out there who happens to be watching the archive version of this live stream and Let's Play on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming channel on YouTube, I appreciate you as well. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can just be notified whenever I post new content. Um, I will be back on again tomorrow night about 9.45 p.m. to play... Another uh, 30 minutes to an hour of Death Stranding on stream. Um, of course, I'll be playing off stream as well. So uh, I will catch you guys up verbally with anything that I experienced in the in-between times. Uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Play the games that you like and stream the games that you love. Once again, my name has been Game Logic on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. One of the co-hosts of the Enough to Keep Going Weekly Games Podcast over on the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube. Until next time, good night, good luck, and good gaming. That's going to do it for me. I'm out of here.